Scorpio, welcome back guys. Um, for those of you returning, uh, for those of you just stopping on by for the first time, welcome. Thank you for joining me guys. Uh, I am here to bring you another weekly love, rate, love reading. My name is Rosa. Do keep in mind these readings are general here on the channel. So just take the parts that speak for you, Scorpio, and leave what doesn't apply. Should you feel that you are connecting to the messages that are coming through, then be sure to show your support in any way, which way you can. And just note, uh, Scorpio, that I do adore and appreciate all of the support that is coming from you. For those of you who are just stopping on by, I do hope you get something out of this reading here today. We are going to take a look at the strongest energies between you and the person that you're thinking of and connecting to. Oh, and I forgot to mention that there will be an extended part to this reading as well. So for those of you who really enjoy this first part and you want to carry it on over onto the extended, you will find the link in the show more section below, okay? But for now, Scorpio, let's take a look at the strongest energies that is connecting you and the person that you are dealing with this week. Thinking of or connecting to, this is the central energy, the strongest energies for our Scorpios. We have the ocean. The ocean speaks to depth of emotion. So I feel here, I feel here, Scorpio, for you and the person that you are thinking of or dealing with or connecting to, this is about a, an emotional connection. The ocean represents water. Water represents emotion, and I feel like this is depth of emotion. So it could be here that feelings for each other are starting to grow stronger, or the emotional connection between you and this person is developing deeper. It's, be, it's getting deeper and deeper. It could be that your feelings are growing deeper for each other, or that you're starting to dive into a much more... Um, like it's kind of like when it comes to conversation between you and this person, it's kind of like you're going there. You're having those emotional conversations, okay? Someone who isn't interested in developing an emotional connection with you won't go there in conversation with you, Scorpio. But I feel like, um, you know, everything's up for discussion this week. <clears throat> Or someone's feelings are growing stronger here. So I'm going to leave that there. We're going to see how that ties in with the rest of the reading. Scorpio. Uh, but there's a lot of water in this card. <laughs> there's a lot of water in this card. So we are going to see how it ties in. We're going to take a look at your energy and how you are viewing this person or the current situation, Scorpio. Okay, we have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Okay, you could be overthinking things this week, Scorpio, I do have to say, but you could be viewing this person as kind of like stressing out. You've got the Magician and the Tower. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the World. Okay. And the World and Seven of Swords. I do see the Mother of Pentacles, so there could be a conversation about commitment here. <clears throat> so I feel um, here, Scorpio, that you're viewing this person as maybe holding back from telling you how they feel. The world would represent distance or space. And the Seven of Swords, well, this person isn't exactly telling you how they feel. Okay, and maybe here that you are worried that they don't share the same feelings for you um, because your feelings are starting to maybe develop stronger and stronger for this person. But you feel like this person is maybe not telling you how they really feel. They're keeping something to themselves. That's how you're viewing this person. 
okay? You are viewing this person as keeping something to themselves. Okay. You do view this person as someone that you have a good time with, with the Three of Cups, okay? You view them as someone that you like to hang out with, you have a good time with them, conversation looks great. Okay, you view them as stressing about matters or stressing about things. Maybe you view them as a worry war or a stress head right now. I definitely feel that this situation is keeping you up at night, Scorpio. You view this person as shifting with the tower, okay? You may be viewing this person like something's changed with them. So mm, I feel like something's changed with them. Maybe you're starting to see that this week. You're like, oh, okay, this is someone who was talking to me. We get along, like we open up, we talk about everything. But it's like, mm, all of a sudden they're maybe closing off or they're being a little bit more distant, You may be viewing this person with the magician as being maybe rather manipulative this week, can uh, Cancer. Scorpio, you could be connecting to a Cancer. But I feel that you're viewing this person as maybe playing tricks or playing mind games. Mm. <clears throat> and with the ocean, there's like this intensity that is growing here between you. So like, oh, this, this situation is starting to become intense. Okay, my feelings are starting to intensify. <coughs> so let's take a look at this person and how they're viewing you, Scorpio. How is this person viewing Scorpio? Oh, okay, sorry, Scorpio. They're viewing you as someone who is ready for a, a partnership, who is ready for a relationship, two of cups. They do view you as a soulmate, okay? They do view you as someone that they like to talk to. They do feel like a little romantic connection has developed here between you. They see you, they do feel a bond. Look at this, the star. This person views you as someone special. The star is special. Okay, I feel like this person admires you or looks up to you. They fancy you. They, they're kind of like enamored by you. They view you as someone who desires to have a relationship with this person. They view you as someone who... Um, they have um, a strong or a developing emotional connection to I wouldn't say strong, but it could be it's starting to develop here for this person. See, because look, the roots of the tree are starting to sprout. They're starting to go deeper into the earth. So they're viewing you as someone who is developing stronger romantic feelings towards them. They view you as someone who is stable and sturdy, um, like, like you're always there for them, you're emotionally available to them. Ace of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. And then underneath that, we've got the Seven of Cups. I don't feel like taking the Seven of Cups. I mean, this person may have options around them, I do have to say. I mean, because you do have the Three of Cups in your, your side here. That's how you view them. You may be viewing this person as talking to other people. Um, do you know what I mean, Scorpio? So, I mean, it could very well be there. Hmm. Ace of Cups. 
This could be someone that you have just recently met. This could be a new person coming in onto the scene. This is emotional new beginnings, Ace of Cups. They could be viewing you as someone who is ready to offer them something more, Ace of Cups. They, they view you as someone who is ready for a romantic or a... A relationship an emotional new beginning here eight of swords so i can't help but feel like this person feels trapped This person feels trapped. Maybe it is their own thoughts. Like you, like I said earlier, Scorpio, you're viewing this person as stressing out or overthinking things. And I see it here, Eight of Swords. This person feels trapped. They do feel a beautiful connection here with you. But I feel like maybe this person likes to have options around them. It could be here that they're ready to develop things much more seriously here with you. But I want to expand on this Eight of Swords. I want to know why this person feels trapped. So, Scorpio, at this part of the reading, this is where I'm going to leave it. But just to give you a little snapshot of the preview, we are going to expand. Oh, bad shuffling. We are going to expand on this Eight of Swords because I want to know why this person feels trapped, yeah? So let's just grab a couple of clarity cards, okay? Four of Pentacles reverse to clarify the Eight of Swords and the Star card. So that's where I leave it, you guys. We will, um, I will unveil the message here over on the extended. So if you would like to join me, you will find that link in the show more section. But for the rest of you, Scorpios, this is where I love you and leave you. Bye for now.